Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us today here at Gen Con again for one of our in-flight shorts. Today, we get to hang out and talk to Tony Fanchi, one of our senior, senior game designers yep. on Marvel Champions. Marvel Champions, yep. So today is Marvel Champions Day. Super excited to talk to you about what you've been doing here. Yeah. And then maybe a little bit more? Maybe. We'll maybe see. Maybe a little bit more. We'll if just, we have time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it is an in-flight short, so we can't go too long, right? Yep. So even if we do start talking about something, they might just cut us off. Maybe. That yeah. would just be a terrible experience for everyone. Nobody here is excited to see new things, though. No? Okay, no. cool. We won't even talk about it then. So let's just talk about Gen Con. Yes. So what have you been doing here at Gen Con? I've been doing a lot of stuff. Uh, so we've been <laughs> running uh, Learn to Plays for the core game of Marvel Champions. Uh, have had a lot of players learning the game for the first time. Nice. We've been doing uh, preview events for the first scenario, uh, Morlock Siege of the Next Evolution campaign box. Lots of fun players doing that. Lots of more locks being saved. Uh, and then we've nice. been also running uh, events for the awesome campaign one, the co campaign custom campaign contest winner. That's a mouthful. Yeah, yeah uh, it's from fine. last year's contest. <laughs> yeah, nice. this this little easy intro scenario oh. with a guy named Ronan. Right, he's such right. a pushover. Yeah, he's yeah. a cake. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There are definitely different levels of expertise you need between the learn to play. Yep. And then getting to that point. It's a completely right? different ball game. Yeah. yeah. Nice. So. What has been your favorite part about being at Gen Con and running these events with Just our players? being able to meet so many players face to face, hearing all the, the great things they have to say about the game, what they love about it, what they're looking forward to in the future. It's just been a great, uh, a great feeling having everybody playing my scenario. Nice. Nice. Sweet. So, talking about your scenario, yep. we've got obviously something new coming. People are playing it this weekend. Yep. But we want to make sure that they get to see some of the content from it as yeah. well. So we're going to show off a couple cards. Yes, we have a couple of cards from the Next Evolution box. I believe they both come from Cable. Uh, first, we have a Cable signature card called Gray Malkin. Uh, this is a support that provides resources for Cable. So basically, it's a resource generator. He gets to use it once per turn. But the awesome thing about it is anytime he clears a player's side scheme or even any side scheme, he gets to ready that cards and use it again. So it's a multiple resource generator for him if he's clear in the side schemes. Nice. Very that's powerful. Legit. Yep. Yeah. And Cable's just one of my favorites, so that's yeah. great. Yeah. Pl players have been asking me to play him, but unfortunately we're we don't have enough to go around. So it's just been bring your own deck to these preview right. events. Right. Yep. The second card we have is the Deathlock Ally. Okay. So if you don't know who Deathlock is, he's kind of a, a cyborg, cybernetic person. He's all about the guns. And so mm -hmm. this basic ally uh, lets you, when you put him into play, go grab a weapon that can attach to a, an ally from your deck and attach it to him. And so he also comes in Cable's deck, which comes with a couple of reprints of the sidearm, which is a, yep. a basic upgrade that goes on allies, gives them bonus attack and the ranged keyword on their attacks. Nice. So he's, he can become a powerful attacker. Very cool. Yeah. That's exciting. Yeah. And we've gotten to show the cards, so you've now seen them. If you hadn't already seen them, maybe on a Discord server somewhere. They're, they're nowhere around. Right? Yeah, 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 nobody's taking pictures Brand when new. they've been yep. playing, right, right? Okay, cool. So we decided we weren't going to cover any other new stuff, right? Yeah. Should we? I, I mean, I've gotten a few people asking here and there about something. Fine. I feel like they would be disappointed if, if that was all that we gave them. All right, so let's talk about something else coming something in else. this wave. Yeah, yep. Something so else coming in this wave. Well, we have a very out of left field, completely unpredictable <laughs> hero that nobody in the world. It's Deadpool. Yeah, it's, it's Deadpool. Deadpool. <laughs> yeah, so. Even though maybe one or two thousand of you predicted that right. Deadpool was coming next, <laughs> you may not know that Deadpool was in fact a co-designer on this pack. Interesting. Yep, yep. Explain to me how that works. <laughs> so I guess you wouldn't have met him because this no. was all happening during the pandemic. So right, he right. was he was having to Skype in from the 616, you know, and getting a stable connection between universes is really difficult. Yeah. But, uh, but that Forge guy, he can make a technology for anything, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's a wizard with that. Yep, yep, nice. he is indeed. 
So why don't we pop the Deadpool hero up on the screen so the players can kind of get a sense of what Deadpool is all about. So if there's one thing you know about Deadpool, it's that he's hilarious. Oh, yes. He's yes. bouncing off the fourth wall, mm -hmm. breaking down the fourth wall. Yes. But he's also unkillable, or very nearly. Uh, right. And so Deadpool has, on his hero side, a forced effect that when he would be defeated, he is not. Instead, you set him at one HP, flip him to alter ego, and you add an acceleration token to the main scheme. So he may not be dead, but now the villain is getting a, a leg up on scheming out. Nice. nice. Uh, and so we, we really wanted this, this hero card to capture one of the central aspects of, of Deadpool's character, and that's his mm -hmm. healing ability. Yeah. And so if we pull up uh, Deadpool's katanas as our next card, we can talk a little bit more about his play style, which is all about taking pain to dish pain out. Yep. So Deadpool's katanas Feels are right. an upgrade that you exhaust them and Deadpool takes the damage, but you get to deal two damage to any enemy in play with piercing, which is very strong, nice, very strong. Nice. So you're taking hits, but you're dish dishing more pain out the other way around. Yeah, it, it would be bad the other way around. Yeah. I mean, he'd probably be fine because he's still Deadpool, but... Yep, yep. <laughs> So you might be wondering, how am I going to deal with all these acceleration tokens I'm right. building up on the main scheme? Well, fortunately, Deadpool's got his, his best friend in the entire galaxy. I just want to tell this story. So Deadpool was saying, <laughs> there are so many characters who could be his signature ally, sure. his, his hero-specific ally. Everybody loves Deadpool. Everybody was bet desperate to be Deadpool's ally. But he, he said his friend, Nate, came to him, tears welling in his eyes, and and ask Deadpool, please, please make me your hero-specific ally. And so Deadpool finally relented. And so we have Cable as <laughs> the signature ally for, for Deadpool. And uh, as you can see on Cable's card, he gets plus one to each of his stats for every acceleration token on the main scheme with, with a little bit of cap, just because we don't want things getting too uh, out, right, of, yeah. out of control. But... If you need some thwart power, Cable's your man. He's got you covered. Nice. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. So we've talked a lot about Deadpool, but we haven't talked about the aspect that Deadpool came with. We have not. Yes. So we thought long and hard about what would make Deadpool special. We didn't want Deadpool to be just like every other hero because he is so special. He's, he's not he's like his any own other special hero. flower. <laughs> so. We, we talked about all sorts of ideas, and the thing that we decided on is Deadpool demands his own aspect. So we have paired Deadpool with a brand new pool aspect. Yep. That way, this is a, a new, completely playable aspect. It uh, comes with many cards in the kit. This is a larger pack than we've ever done for a hero. Mm -hmm. This is 78 cards, so you have lots of cards in the pool aspect with which to build your deck and customize your deck. And because it's an aspect, it can be played with any hero in the game. Yep. So if you want to have a Hulk pool, if you yep. want to have a Thor pool, if you want Ms. Marvel pool, these are all options with the Deadpool yep. pack. And I absolutely love it. <laughs> it is it is something I'm very proud of. We, we put a lot of thought and a lot of effort into it. and. I feel like this greatly captures what makes Deadpool so Deadpool. Right. So we're going to throw one pool card up on the screen so you can take it out. That is, uh, I've got this. This is a signature, very uh, key card to the pool aspect. And I love so the art on this card. <laughs> it, is, it is fantastic. So what this card does is it gives you benefits for having all sorts of different encounter card icons in play, whether they're Crisis, Hazard, mm -hmm. Amplify, Acceleration. And that is because a lot of cards in the dead in the pool aspect mm -hmm. come with these icons on them. Yep. Uh, every ally in the pool aspect has no consequential damage. They can live forever, but they all come with some kind of encounter icon on them yep. that you have to work around. A, a, a price you have to pay for yep. keeping them on the board. Uh, and there are many, many other cards in the pool aspect that play around with either putting these icons into play or giving you benefits for having them in play. Nice. Nice. It's going to be a ton of fun. 
I am super excited for everybody to, to check out the preview article, which is going, yep, live, yep, going live on the website. And uh, can't wait to get it into everybody's hands by the end of the year, I believe. Yeah, yes. So, awesome. We know about Deadpool. Yep. And you will be able to read even more than what we just talked about today on that article later today. So watch fantasyflightgames.com for that article that article to go live. It has been a long weekend. Sorry, my throat can't handle it anymore, clearly. But, Tony, thank you for being here. Of course. Thank you for spoiling all the fun stuff. <laughs> and thank you all for being here. You're awesome. And we will see you next time. Bye.